All right, Carson, you ready? We're doing a walkthrough one. Slide that over. Where's my pen? Where's my pen? Okay, so problem number eight. Okay, so here you have your nucleus, here you have your energy level, and here you have your electron. Okay, what's going to happen to the electron? As it, as it goes up, that's in the excited state, right? What happens when it comes back down to the ground state? Light and heat, wavelengths of light and heat are given off. Wavelengths of light and heat. Energy. Okay, so that is the duality. An electron can exist as an electron, a particle, and a wave at the same time. This happens so many times per second that the electrons half the time are wavelengths of light, and half the time they're electrons. Okay? All right? So I'll, get, I'll, I'll tell you that tomorrow. There's a, there's a riddle. It's called Schrodinger's cat. It's really cool. Yeah, Schrodinger's cat. Okay, so they can be both an electron and a wave at the same time. All right? Question number nine. Question number nine. <clears throat> Describe the phenomena that can be explained by the particle model of light. All right? So that is basically it's the same question we just answered. It's the same thing we just answered. All right? How does how does it, how does electrons give off light? They go from the ground state to the what? Excited state. They go from the ground state to the excited state. Ground state, excited state. Now, every time they go from a different orbit, a different energy level, they're giving off different frequencies of light. Every time they drop from a different energy level, they're giving off different frequencies. So, for example, if they're in a low orbit, this may be red. If they're in a higher one, it may be a higher frequency of light. That might be orange. If they're dropping from way out here, this might be blue. That make sense? Okay. All right. Next question. Here we go, Tom. Ten. Or, you know, ten? Ten. Compare and contrast continuous <laughs> spectrum and emission spectrum. What is a continuous spectrum? We looked at it. Okay, a continuous spectrum has all the colors of the rainbow. Right? What are the colors in a continuous spectrum? Good. A continuous spectrum has Roy G. Biff. Antoine, a line spectrum. Does it have all the colors? No. It has lines. Does it have all the colors or only certain colors? Okay, so it's lines of certain colors. Lines of certain colors. Okay, next. Number 11, employ quantum theory to assess the amount of energy that matter gains and loses. Okay. Number 11. There's your nucleus, there's your first energy level, there's your second energy level, the third energy level, and so on. Okay, in order to get this electron from a ground state all the way up here to a super excited state, does that require a lot of energy? Yes. yes. If it goes up into the excited state, way up there, when it comes back down, is it going to give off a lot of energy? Yes. yes. Okay. So the higher an electron goes in a higher energy level, Grammy, the further it's going to fall. If an object has to fall farther, is it going to have more energy? Yes. Of course. Okay. Good. So, so the higher the energy level equals higher energy. Give it off. Higher energy absorbed. Higher energy emitted. Okay. The higher the energy goes up, Wayne, the higher it falls. If it goes up higher, it's going to fall higher. It's going to be more energy. If you 
go throw a ball, a baseball up in the air, way up in the air, but you put a lot of energy into it. Yes. When you come down and smack it in the face, it's a lot of energy. I don't have that good practice. Yes, it would. Okay? Yes, sir, it would. Number 12, discuss the way in which Einstein utilizes Planck's quantum concept to explain the photoelectric effect. All right. Guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show a video for you, okay? Photoelectric effect. How many of you have ever put metal in the microwave? Randy, what happens if you put metal in the microwave? Put a little foil in the microwave. Put a CD in the microwave. Everybody CD in the microwave? Anybody, anybody put broken light bulbs in the microwave? Absolutely. What happens if you put broken light bulbs in the microwave? They light up. I've seen somebody put it Christmas lights. All right. So there we go. Here's a box. There's your microwave. There's little settings. There's your buttons. Okay. And in this light bulb, in here, we have a broken light bulb. It's shattered. It's one of those tungsten filament light bulbs. What comes? What, what is in the microwave? Microwaves, right? Okay. So microwaves hit the light bulb. Energy waves. This lights up even though it's broken. Why? That's the reason why. The microwaves are giving the electrons energy. What are the electrons doing? Moving up and down to an excited state. So when that happens, they give off light. The thing is, the microwave gives them such, so much energy that the electrons just jump clear off of their atoms. They hit it at exactly the right frequency, and it makes them jump. So all these sparks fly as a result. Those are electrons coming off of the thing. Right? It sparks. Those are electrons. You should be teaching art class instead. It's for real, Joe. Okay? So the photoelectric effect... is when light, light waves, or energy waves, because you can't see microwaves, but maybe maybe super aliens can, okay? Energy waves cause electrons to jump off of their atoms. Okay, so that can happen when you put broken light bulbs in the microwave. Okay, all right, I'm going to stop this, and I'm going to show you that a video of that.